if you experience shedding excessive breakage psoriasis alopecia bald patches dandruff you need this ayurveda hair growth spray please listen do not use this spray if you don't want fast hair growth. Your hair may become too thick to handle. This spray encourages healthy hair growth and scalp stimulation. This spray prevents dandruff, breakage, and excessive shedding. It heals inflamed scalp, strengthens the hair follicles. It thickens the hair, prevents premature graying, regrows bald spots, prevents hair thinning. I repeat, if you don't want your hair to become too thick to handle, don't bother making this spray because it's so potent and works fast in growing out your hair, filling your bald patches or spots in just two weeks of consistent use. Just use two to three times weekly to hydrate your hair and you will be amazed at your result in just two weeks of use. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tima. Please ensure you watch this video to the end as to get all the instructions. Also, remember to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. To begin, grab your clean pot place it on heat and then pour about 500 ml worth of water to it cover up your pot and then bring the water to a boil once the water starts boiling then our first powerful ingredient for today's recipe is rosemary leaves and i'll be making use of just six stalks of rosemary leaves fresh rosemary leaves as with all herbs there are many different ways that rosemary can be applied externally onto your hair and scalp rosemary is commonly used for maintaining scalp health to promote hair growth because healthy hair starts at the scalp it stimulates and improves circulation to the scalp to encourage hair growth due to its antibacterial properties it also works to gently cleanse the hair and scalp issues like irritated dry flaky scalp and dandruff our next ingredient is cloves cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair they can be used for protecting the scalp from dandruff which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair Cloves also contain anti-inflammatory agents which further help in hair thickening. Close water is rich in eugenol and essential vitamins and minerals that combat infections and boost hair growth. For the proportion, I measured out a tablespoon of cloves buds into our boiling water. If you have the powder, please feel free to use them. And where to get all those ingredients that I'm using, you can get them on Amazon or Instagram vendors. Some vendors in Nigeria stock all these ingredients. For our third ingredient, I've got cinnamon sticks. The dermatologist recommends using cinnamon in hair. It contains cinnamaldehyde that dilates blood vessels and boosts blood flow to the scalp and gives you lustrous hair it also contains antifungal properties that help protect the scalp and hair from free radical damage and inflammation and prevent dandruff for the proportion i made use of two sticks of cinnamon i covered the pot i stirred and covered the pot and allowed to boil for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes i came back stirred again and then covered the pot allowed this to stay for 12 hours before i strained just cover up your pot set it aside allow it to stay there and steep for the next 12 hours before you strain do not ferment this product next i use my bowl and a strainer to strain all the liquid next is to transfer the filtrate into my spray bottle this is my spray bottle i'll go ahead and transfer all of that into it if you don't have spray bottle please use your body spray containers wash them thoroughly and sterilize use it as your spray bottle so cover up this and then shake you can add essential oils if you like but i'm not adding any essential oil in this regard so i will just cover up this and then shake it and it's ready for use please store in your refrigerator after five days this goes rancid you can use it again the reason why i always tell you to discard after five days is because even in your refrigerator you have some microorganisms that can still penetrate 
and then spoil your products like the molds they can penetrate even in the coldest even in four degrees celsius they can still penetrate your products or your food so there are some microorganisms that thrives in the refrigerator so after five days if you're not adding preservatives to your hairspray please discard it after five days in your refrigerator and if you don't have refrigerator please get some preservatives that way you don't have to worry about the spray getting spoiled some of you come to the comment section telling me dima what of if you don't have refrigerator there are other options you can buy preservatives to preserve yours my hair is a proof that diy products actually work so for the application all you need to do is to use it to hydrate your hair do not rinse it out no need to rinse this out except you're using it as a tea rinse after deep conditioning you can just pour it on your hair wait for 30 minutes before you rinse this product is best used as a leave-in spray use it to hydrate your hair if you're using it as a leave-in please ensure you are coating it with other products like your leave-in conditioner and your hair grease or hair butter cream or maybe oils to seal in all the moisture please do not use this product alone so you don't come crying for me this product made my hair stiff it made my hair dry and for those of you that don't watch up to the end some of you just watch the first two the first two minutes of the video then you run to the comment section asking me questions dima why is this stiffing my hair making my hair stiff that's because you didn't watch and listen to the instructions because if you watch to the end you know how a product is supposed to be used if you buy products there is always a manufacturer's instructions which tells you what how to use the product and how not to use the product so i really asked one of you a lot of questions one day when she came complaining to me that her hair got stiff after using one of my diy spray and i now asked how were you using this spray so she told me that she uses it several times a day like up to three to four times a day guys i've never on my videos told anyone to use any of these diys more than once a day and i usually recommend that you use some of my sprays two to three times weekly and there is a reason for that because too much of a good thing is a bad thing so i said two to three times weekly and this girl went and was using more than four to five times a day what do you expect so i always say whenever you're living in these sprays in your hair make sure to apply moisturizing leave-in conditioner that way that spray will not dry your hair out it will do what it's supposed to do on your hair please whenever you're watching my video especially those of you listening now always watch to the end because i always drop instructions for each of my diy products so to get the best of my videos and my diys always watch to the end please ask your questions in the comment section below that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching and if you watched up to this point you're the real mvp give this video a thumbs up and show you share it to anyone who have got boss pause receding thinning hair dandruff name it share this video and also subscribe see you on my next one bye